Question 13 of the GED Math Practice Test Part 1, that's the part with calculator. Okay, we're still on this uh, particular chart here. It says, if every time the pitcher had to walk to the ball and bring it back to the throwing line after every throw. Okay, okay, let's interpret this. If every time the pitcher had to walk to the ball and bring it back after and bring it back to the line after every throw so let's say the pitcher is here okay he throws the ball okay you know this this is a range of throw a, a pitcher throwing the ball and you have several teams so he throws the ball okay the ball is here and every time the pitcher had to walk to the ball and bring it back to the throwing line after every throw so let's say this is the throwing line okay so it means after he has thrown the ball he has to walk to the ball pick it pick it up back and come to the throwing line okay so the question now says how far would he have walked because of team three's throws okay how far would he have walked because of team Three throws. Okay, so let's focus on team three now. So uh, uh, for team three, you know every team had what had what uh, had what five tries, right? Try one, two, five. Is that not it? So the first one, he would first of all when he throws uh, the first try. Is that not it? Is here he throws the first try. So he throws the first try. The first try is what we were focusing on team three here as a question is the first try is what 15.8 meters so he walks 15.8 meters all right to pick the ball so we have here 15.8 meters then he also throws another try so he walks how many meters now this is 12.8 so we add another 12.8 to pick the ball so he walks 12.8 meters to pick the ball because the distance from here to here is what 12.8 meters then he throws the second try is what 6.2 so we add well, 16 sorry 16.2 we add it up then the sec the fourth try is what 16.8 so he walks pick the ball come back to the line then the last try is what try five which is what 17 point one so when he throws the ball he comes he picks it up so we have to add up all the what the length all right because this is in meter the range of the ball is what in meter okay so when we add this up what are we going to get if you punch in your calculator we are going to get a total of what 78.7 all right which is also equal to what 78.70 all right so this is our answer and our right option is what option two